Georgie's is a clay and glaze manufacturer. It's a family owned and operated business, has been around for 50 years. We have seven kilns. We pretty much pack the kilns full and then unload them and then pack them full again and just keep going. The same kiln will get fired possibly three to four times a week. So it's very high turnover of projects. My name is Chris Lyon. I'm one of the co-owners of Mud Shark Studios. What we do is we offer contract ceramic manufacturing services. Everything we make is custom and made to order. We have a gallery in the front and then in the back is where we do the manufacturing. We started Mud Shark back in 2006. We had grown out of our garage that we were operating the business in and moved into this current space. We went from six employees to 26 employees. In 2017, I was finding that I didn't have a lot of creative freedom anymore in my job. So I started taking this evening ceramics class over at Georgie's. The first night I came home and I was grubby and filthy and my cheeks were super sore because I realized I've been smiling all night and it was the first time I'd been that happy in a really long time. So I kind of paid attention to that. Here at Mud Shark Studios, it's very crucial that our kilns are firing every single day. And in order to do that, we rely heavily on our diagnostic screen to tell us when our elements are going to go out, when our relays need to be replaced, so our technician can come in and see everything right at his fingertips. I really like the interface. I like to be able to log into that and see what temperature they're at. There's a nice peace of mind in knowing it completed without issue. If there was an error, I can address it. At the moment, I'm just loading a bisque firing. And in this kiln load, a lot of the pieces are quite large. So I'm going to start out by doing a two hour preheat just for safety. The new SCUT controller has really changed the way that I'm able to think about my firing scheduling. I can pick which parameter I want to change and change it immediately. And there's just a peace of mind knowing that when I go to bed at night, I can look at the app and see that the kiln has shut off. So recently we've been struggling with this cooling crack problem on this piece. And the great thing about this new controller is it's got built-in Wi-Fi, which will allow us to hook up to our KillLink Premium account to help give us more information on what may be causing this cracking. We're now logged in. We're looking at the firing that we just programmed. Currently we're you know, climbing, so this is going to be our rate of climb. Uh, what I'm really interested in is this uh, cooling rate. With that information, I should be able to start to pinpoint what temperature this cooling crack is occurring, and if so, we can adjust the program to try to mitigate that.